I'm Jenna Sackwa here with The Cutaway, your look beyond CBS this morning. I'm here with Julie Watts, and we just saw your story, your undercover investigation. Tell me the backstory, how you got started with this investigation. Well, it started with a tip from a local jeweler, Tom Broadwin in Palo Alto, who said he had customers coming in complaining about these traveling shows. So he tested it out first, actually, brought gold in, and they lied to him. They said his gold coins were gold-plated. So he lent us $8,000 worth of gold, and we went in undercover and found the exact same same thing. We realized it was much bigger. Um, this is obviously a national company, and so I realized I had to get other affiliates involved. So we made some phone calls, and we were in the middle of a May ratings period. So folks are already booked, and luckily we convinced five stations to go undercover in their respective areas. Um, we shipped out our gold, cataloged it, and sure enough, we found out it was happening across the country. So what's the status of this investigation now? I mean, is this guy's still doing road shows. Can people still fall under this? Well, Parsons road shows, THR road shows have ceased for the time being, we hope permanently. However, uh, we're told that his son is now operating road shows under a new name. And Parsons does still have uh, these brick and mortar buy sell trade stores. In fact, in recent testimony, uh, he actually testified that he's keeping the profits from those stores in a safe as opposed to a bank account because of all the IRS levies and liens. People that have actually been cheated, what can they do? Well, a lot of people out there still have bad checks, and THR is promising to reimburse them. So if they go to the website where our story is, we have a link, um, and we also have a statement from THR explaining what folks can do to get their checks reimbursed. Essentially, they have to mail in a copy of their bank statement with the bounced check fee, um, the total that, that was bounced, and, and they'll go ahead and re well, they say they'll go ahead and reimburse them and give them a $25 credit for their trouble. And lastly, some of those tips that you can help us to buy gold. Well, you know, first of all, you have to know what you have. I, I was told over and over by buyers during this investigation, it's not my job to tell them what they have. They should know before they come in. So I think that's really important. People go in expecting them to educate them about their gold, and really they need to know going in. Um, take it to a jeweler, find out the carrot count, find out the weight, look online to find out what gold is selling for, uh, and then negotiate. Don't take their first offer. It's usually not going to be their best offer. And be willing to walk away. There's so many competitors out there, so many options. And if you do get scammed, call Julie or tweet at Julie, Julie Watts TV. Thanks so much. I'll be back in a half an hour with another cutaway.